Hello guys, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to make a simulator game part one. And first of all, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go into server script service and add a script. And then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to type in exactly this script. Okay guys, don't make any mistakes. So you're going to want to type in on the first line, game dot players dot player added dot dot connect and then function and then it's like player and then you take away the last bracket and then you do local leader stats equals instance dot new and then folder right and then the third line is leader stats dot name equals not like that equals and then leader stats There we go, and then leader stats dot parent equals player, and then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to skip a line, there are the six line, and then you're going to want to type in local, and then think. Of a currency, I'm gonna do local um, local hamburgers equals instance dot new and then int value. And then go into the um, seventh line and you type in your currency. So hamburgers dot name equals and then your currency again. And then your currency again. So hamburgers. And then dot name. Oh, sorry, not dot name. Dot parent equals leader stats. And then your currency, so hamburgers dot value. And then equals. And then, what do you want? How many um, your how many of your currency do you want there to be at the beginning um, of your simulator game when you start playing it? So I'm just gonna pin zero. Um, and then that's the end of the script. But you can also. can copy this and then you can skip another line and you can if you want to do another one of these so local I don't know houses and then you change everything to another currency but I'm not going to do that and I'm just going to put it as end. End. There we go. Close your script when you've done it. Home. Play. Test your game out. Oh, Roblox removed the oof sound, so if you die, you won't hear it.
Oh, I've got Hamburg dot dot dot, so I need to make my currency name a little bit shorter. So I'm going to do... I'll change hamburgers to... And um, maybe I'll just... I might do... Hmm. I'll just keep it simple. Cups, maybe, for example. And they change all of these to, to cups. Okay, and then you're going to close it off. And I'm just going to test it again. So it won't say Hamburg dot 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 anymore. Okay. And now it says cups and then zero. Or whatever your currency is and then zero. Now what you can do is you can stop playing. And then add a screen GUI into starter GUI and with the screen GUI put in um, a text button and then you drag the text button to wherever you want I'm just going to put it at the bottom for now I reckon the bottom is the best place that's what I'm going to do and then customise your text button Background colour. I'm just gonna put in a picture of a cup. Yellow background, okay. And then text. I might if you knew how to use like if you know how to use image label and image buttons, you can put them on you can put them on your text button as well. But um, I'm just gonna get a cup and I'm gonna do the emote. I might gonna pick this one. I like this one. And then you go to text scaled and put it on. So now it should look like this. And then you're going to add a local script into your text button. Oh I'm just gonna look at my scripts real quick. And go and this is what you're going to type in exactly again you're going to want to type in local player equals game dot players dot local player and then second line local local value equals player dot dot wait for child lead stats dot your currency Local button equals script dot parent. By the way, you can just copy and paste this. As I've said a lot of times now. <laughs> button dot mouse button one click. dot dot connect function oh not nine function no let's value 
dot value equals value dot value plus and then how much you want to give the player, how much currency you want to give the player at a time when they click the button. So I'm just going to do one and then end and then take away the eighth line. And now you should close your script and be able to test it. I'm going to just oh, get up full screen. Yeah. Um, and then what you do is it should say your currency, you press the button, check your user stats, and they go up every time you press it. Very cool. Uh, and also what I can do is I can go back into my script, my local script, and clicked and I can change this to whatever I want. I might do a hundred for example and then I'll close off this script. Home play. My game. And then now when I click it I get a hundred at a time. Now what you can go and do is, if you want to, um, you can add some extra detail by putting in the screen GUI, add a frame and a text button. And with the text button, oh, not a frame actually, delete the frame. Um, you could add the text button right and then you place that next to your currency and then you put in another button and I'm going to do green and then text um, I don't know if emoji maybe I'll do for example pink I'm going to do a pick and then take the scale again. And what I can do is I can add another local script. And I can go to the local script. And I can go back into my other text buttons local script. I see this. I copy all of it. I go into the other local script and I paste it and then replace um, the line two's dot and then your currency on another currency. So I'm going to call it, what was my currency again? Pigs, yeah that was it. So I dot pigs. And then I can close that. I close all of my screen GUIs. I go to my... Oh, by the way, call your script. Need your stats. Okay. Oh. And then... You're going to... If you want to... Copy all of this, skip a line, paste it, local, and then another currency, which was, mine was pigs, wasn't it? And then I'll do pigs.name, and then pigs.parent. Does that just sound a little bit... Oh, you can see my hands there. 
It says it's a bit weird to be pigs.parent. Um, and then you change this to pigs. I don't know if you can see that clearly, but this is what I'm doing. And then I do pigs.value equals, and then whatever you want the player to start with again. And then you close that off, you go to home, and then you go to play. You've got two, right? You check your leader stack. We have two currencies, cu cups and pigs. If you press cups, you get cups. And when you press the pig button, or whatever your currency was, you'll also get 100. Thank you for watching my video. Love you guys. Bye-bye.